Upon the first introduction of the genetic mutations to the test subjects, the initial reaction to the serum caused the test subjects to exhibit slightly altered behavior. This was not the intended result, so time was taken to further refine the genetic mutation sequences, and I believe it has been significantly improved. After allowing some time for the refined mutations to fully settle in the test subjects, as well as giving them some extra nutrient sludges to help speed up their development, their current statuses go as follows. Subject Onion has regained its characteristic low energy and nervousness values with the stabilization of the rotund mutation. The aquatic mutation has now increased all of Subject Fleece's stats instead of diminishing them except for their bravery and sympathy stats. Subject Bingus has also gained an overall buff to their stats with the refined hunter mutation. However, in comparison to the other test subjects, their stats are still rather average. I decided to give Jib the Tundra mutation just to see how well one of the test subjects can adapt to such specialized modifications. All right, let's get to testing. I'll admit it. I do feel a little bad about how the last experiment went. So this time, I will allow you some time to actually acclimate to your new mutations. You may have noticed that this test chamber has a bit more interesting lighting. This is intentional, and certainly not because of any technical difficulties regarding suspicious activity being detected throughout certain junctions of the facility. Anyways, this test chamber has been stocked with various points of interest for the test subjects. There's a few different food items as well as a couple harmless creatures and various objects for tinkering with. Jib appears to be struggling with the operation of the organic grappling mechanism that the Tundra mutation has equipped them with. Onion is the first to discover the source of food in the test chamber and happily gorges themselves on the bat flies. Fingus seems curious about the lantern mouse, much to the lantern mouse's discomfort. Onion manages to throw a spear into the popcorn pod, causing the plant to release the small fruit within it. Unfortunately, Onion has never eaten popcorn fruit and doesn't realize that it's an infinite source of sustenance, which is probably a good thing now that I think about it. By the way, I just discovered that test subjects with a tundra mutation have a 77% chance of developing myopia. Please disregard any unscheduled communication breaches. Fleece seems to be having fun running around, much to the terror of the lantern mouse. Meanwhile, Jib is intent on honing their parkour skills with their new grapple ability. They are struggling with getting over this short gap, which is quite peculiar since there's a pole they can use to simply cross the gap without jumping.
but they are slowly getting the hang of it. Suddenly, Bingus grabs the Lantern Mouse, much to the Lantern Mouse's despair. Despite possessing the Hunter mutation, Bingus is not strong enough to carry the Lantern Mouse properly. The Lantern Mouse is just a bit too heavy. Meanwhile, Jib spends the next several minutes trying and failing to make the jump. They seem determined to do it a certain way, though I cannot fathom why. about these yeeks, but I don't know what exactly. Finally, Jib makes it over the gap. Good for them. At least they seem happy about the accomplishment. Of course, Onion had to go and dunk on Jib with a double backflip maneuver. Flea seems to be really struggling with avoiding grapple worms during this test. Wait a minute. Bingus. Where is the Lantern Mouse?